Okay, so changing the tone a little bit for our Star Wars The Last Jedi character reviews. This one's going to be a little bit different and it's actually going to be more positive than the previous three that I've done. If you haven't seen the first three that I've done, uh, Snoke, Phasma and Luke, go check them out. Uh, again, I'll post descriptions below. Um, but this one's going to be on Vice Admiral Holdo, which uh, is a character who was brand new. We didn't know a lot about it at all, played by Laura Dern. Uh, very, had a very interesting look with pink hair, you know, very, very much a throwback to the prequels. Um, and for the most part, I've got to say, I actually did enjoy this character. Um, there were some elements that didn't quite make sense to her plot, but I think for the most part, um, this was a character that they handled fairly well. Um, obviously, she was introduced to be not just a kind of antagonist towards Poe to give him a bit of purpose and to help him learn a little bit, but also there as a backup for Leia, uh, for when Leia was injured in the film. Now, I like Holdo because she's a very strong and determined character. Um, you know, she doesn't really back down. She is very uh, firm, but she's also got a nice sense of warmth to her. You know, while she is uh, being very stern with Poe and others, she's got this kind of, I don't know, it's a, a very nice uh, kind of friendly feeling to her. Um, the reason why I do kind of like the character, though, is because she's quite intelligent. The plan that she comes up with is actually a really good one to help them escape. I'd say that the big flaw with the character, really, um, or at least with the what the character does is that there was no reason to withhold the plan that she comes up with from Poe. Because it's not like anyone's going to leak the plan to the First Order. Um, you know, she sacrifices herself. Again, very noble. Can very much appreciate that. And her death is fucking cool, let's face it. She hyperspace... She, she basically light speeds a three kilometer long cruiser into an even bigger cruiser, destroying uh, several Star Destroyers and crippling the Supremacy. And it, the scene itself was actually really cool. The silence, once the ship is cut in two, um, really has an effect on the cinema. And, you know, there was an audible gasp of, like, whoa, when that happened. So in terms of character deaths, I think she's probably got one of the best character deaths I've seen in a Star Wars film. But again, the entire kind of tension that's built up between her and Poe uh, is palpable from the beginning. You know, Poe's first interaction with her she goes aren't you Captain Poe now because you got demoted by Leia um, there was a lot of speculation that she was actually going to have tension with Leia that she came from the New Republic and you know she was going to try and dictate what was happening but not really I mean there's not a lot of background to her character given she literally just shows up as second in command she's a vice admiral um, and you know that's it really um, but yeah, her and Poe don't get on too well, but I mean, it doesn't really, I mean, I can understand why she would think he's a hothead, and so she doesn't want to fully trust him, um, because obviously he was going to be disapproving of the plan from the, the get-go at least, but there was no real reason to withhold it, and that would have stopped a lot of the mutiny that happened, but other than that, I can't think of too much wrong with the character, I mean, yes, she doesn't get a great deal of screen time, because, you know, again, she is pretty much a secondary character, but for when she was on screen, she was commanding, um, you know, her dialogue was pretty good, and, you know, her storyline made sense for the most part. You know, the heroic sacrifice, which I wasn't expecting, um, but she was a true leader. She was a great leader. That's that's what I think her, the purpose of her character was. Um, Laura Dern did a great job in portraying the character. Um, I liked seeing her interactions with Leia once Leia woke up, and, you know, she was very much one of the good guys in the end. And I really appreciated that. She she basically gave the, the film some really good moments. You know, the sacrifice, uh, the tension between her and Poe was, was, again, very palpable. And while some may say it was unnecessary to have that drama on the Resistance side, and it kind of maybe just... There's a reason why this is the longest Star Wars film, because that wasn't really necessary. Um, at the end of the day, I can appreciate it for what it was. It wasn't as bad as some other elements of the movie. Um, and it's always nice to meet new characters in this universe and... Um, you know, when they are not major characters, you can kind of accept them not having too much of a backstory and then them being disposed of for the right purpose. Two big differences here between someone like Holdo and someone like Snoke. Um, Snoke has a major part to play in this film series. You know, he's the leader of the First Order 
and he is the big bad guy who turned Ben Solo. Getting rid of him out of nowhere makes no sense. Holdo comes in as a secondary character to give a purpose to another main character, in this case Poe Dameron, to help him learn to not be such a hothead flyboy, and she sacrifices herself to allow the remaining resistance to escape. That is a purpose. That is a way of killing off a character who has not had much of a backstory for a purpose. Snoke, bad. Holdo, good. You know, that's how you are supposed to do things like that. So yeah, Holdo is actually a character I did really enjoy. Kind of a shame that we're not going to get to see more of her because, again, I think her character could have been a very good successor to Leia. You know, um, but obviously decisions are made. You can't turn them around. I think ideally what they would have done is if they'd have been able to say if, for example if Carrie Fisher had passed during the filming I think they very much would have changed it so that they maybe killed off Leia and kept Holdo on to then become the leader of the resistance because I think that character very much had the potential to become the leader of the resistance so again interesting character bit of a shame that she's gone but she went in a very good way um, I very much enjoyed it and yeah one of the more positive things to come out of this film which is nice it's it's a nice change to actually say something good about the last jedi because there's been a lot of negativity um not just from me but in general around this so again love to get your thoughts on the character please post them below uh, if you haven't checked out the other videos i'll be coming out with more character reviews very soon in the meantime thank you very much for watching and i'll see you for the next one